It's your buddy Microchip here playing Trains 2022 Plus Standard Edition. And this is the CNO Hinton Division, episode 66. Okay, where we left off was Thomas was uh, drilling the yard here in Hinton. Here's the yard here in Hinton. Uh, here is the train he is uh, drilling. Now <laughs> you may be asking yourself, how can he be drilling this cut right, right here when he's over here? That's not Thomas. That's Graham. You nuts. All right. So let's go back over here. Uh, there, here he is here. See, told you. I wouldn't lie to you. Here he is. All right. Now what we're going to do is uh, drill. I, I feel like I've already said that. And I got to cut me some slack today. Got a cold. Yeah, I got a cold. And so I'm going to be coughing here and there. I'll try not to cough into the mic. But if I do, well, you know. They can't all be gems. Uh, so the first two cars uh, that we have to get rid of here are going to Stonecliff. And Stonecliff is on track four. But the next two cars are Thurman. Or the next few cars are Thurman. Uh, they are all going on track four. Uh, so this one's track four. No, no, no. Track four, track four, track four, track four, track four, track four, not track four. So it's the flat cars. Okay. Pulling forward now. Here we go. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is going to be a challenge. Thank goodness. Uh, so let's see here. We have track track fours right next door. That rhymed. You know it rhymed. Admit it. All righty. Here he goes. There we go. All right. I had a catastrophe uh, when I uploaded my last video, which was uh, Tidewater. Uh, one of my more astute uh, subscribers, one of my more astute watchers, I want to call them listeners, but you guys aren't, well, I mean, you are listening, but you're watching, you're v viewers. There we go, viewers. Notice that right around the 24 mark, the sound stopped working. <laughs> so I thought, oh, no, did my mic cut off in the middle of it? Well, I got to back up. There we go. <coughs> Here's one of those coughs I was talking about. All right. So, uh, no, it didn't. What happened was something happened wrong with the rendering process because I went back. I always keep the last two videos of uh, every series just in case something like this happens. And so I went in. And I opened up my um, recording program, and the sound was fine all the way through. But then when I checked the render that it made at 24 minutes, it left out. So I just re-rendered it and then re-uploaded it, and now it works. It's the magic of computers. Now, this is taking a while, but let's see track four here. Track four is getting full, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm over here. Ooh, look at this. Okay, now let's get distracted. Don't get distracted. All right, this is track four right here. Yeah. Okay, here he comes now. Hey, you can see the engine's way over there. It's gonna be. Let, let's give him a. Let's give him a little bit more oomph on there, huh? Here he comes now. Maybe I should take a uh, cough drop. I got a bag of 80 cough drops here. They're Halls. Halls cough drops. For all your railroad needs, use Halls. I am not receiving any money from Halls. All righty. Here we go. And again, we got that. We're going. To, we're doing another crossover right here. Uh, that's a that's a problem for trains. Creates more friction. Slows it down. I'm not gonna have to slow down to make the coupling here. I'm just gonna keep it full bore, seventy percent. A good notch six in there, huh? Here we go.
Got it. I'm not sure what's worse, coughing or me going into the mic. I don't. I don't know which one's worse. Okay. So Hinton is the next uh, one we got to put these uh, two flat cars at, and Hinton is uh, track one. We're going to clear it up to this frog right here. If this box car here is the last one that's going on. There we go. Now we can slow it down. And let's hit the brakes. Right there. Pretty close to perfect. I'll take pretty close to perfect. All right, now we're going to hitting. This is the first time in a long time that I've recorded something because I just got back off vacation. Yeah. Yeah, your old buddy microchip here decided to take a vacation. He did it. I just made a whole lot of videos before I left. I was gone for 11 days. I don't make these announcements before I go on vacation because I'm always afraid that someone listening to my uh, <laughs> YouTube channel is going to go, oh, he's gone. We know who that is, and we're going to arrive his house. Now, what are the chances of that? N n zero and none. But I don't want to take the chance anyway. But I just got back. I was in... England, Scotland, and Ireland. Very beautiful countries. For those of you who've been there, you know what I'm talking about. Um, one of the highlights of the trip, when we left England and went to Scotland, we took a train. That's right. A train. A four-hour train trip that turned into eight hours. <laughs> so there I am on the train. You know, just, you know you know how it is. We're gonna, what we got? We're going to Thurman, Thurman, Thurman. Uh, it's the first loaded one. Is it the box? Yeah, it's this one right here. Because this is... Uh, what number is this right here? Uh, it is... What? Yeah, 4319. Yeah, 4319. So it's all the way up to the... Uh, wait a minute, we're going to track one. Hey, what am I doing? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to talk about... I was so uh, psyched about talking about the train that I was on in... Uh, I forgot what I was doing. We got to go back to track one. I didn't go back far enough. We're going to go back to this track right here. Right? Here. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, that's right. Hitting. And then the next one is go back on track four again. It's Thurman. What am I doing? I'm doing it right. I'm just not saying it right. Okay. So, anywho, so we get on this train. And we're zipping along. Uh, and I'm looking outside and going past uh, English freight trains and all their engines, you know, that I don't get to see a whole lot of. And I was in total, total <clears throat> trains nirvana while I was going along there. Back it up. I should wait they got to zero. That's all right. We're going to juice it to 80 this time. There we go. And then the announcement comes over that there are, so we're going from London to uh, Edinburgh. And uh, <clears throat> there is a uh, announcement that says that the lines, because these are all electric trains, uh, the lines were not backing up. We are okay, just really slowly. Let, let's really let, let's put it notch eight. This is notch eight. But anyway, they say the lines uh, south of Newcastle are down. That means all the train traffic has to stop. So we sat there on the track for about I don't know half hour or so. And then they came back on and said, we got one of the lines open. The so one track is open. The other one's closed. So it's going to be a delay. So we're like, okay, whatever. So then eventually our train gets moving. And we're humming along again. I'm eking out, you know, having a great time, uh, my wife and I. And then we uh, are about five minutes outside of Newcastle. So we passed the area that was the lines were down. And then it said... Unfortunately, this train, which is supposed to take you all the way to Edinburgh, is going to terminate in Newcastle. Everybody's got to get off. <laughs> We're like, what? We got to get off? How are we going to get to Edinburgh? We talked to somebody at the station after we got off, and he said, just stay on track two, uh, on, on platform two, and eventually the train will come by, and we'll take you the rest of the way. So we got there, 
the platform two, we waited. There were four trains coming, like within a half hour. So I thought, oh, okay, it's not so bad. But there were so many people that got kicked off other trains, all trying to get to Edinburgh. We didn't get out until the third train. I mean, there were just people cramming. And then when we got on it, we had to stand for the last hour and a half in the aisle because there was nowhere to sit down. <laughs> I still loved it, don't get me wrong. But it was like, say, what? This is kind of not nice. But in the end, I guess it worked out, sort of, because then they gave us an uh, email or a, uh, a website address to go to, and we got fully refunded our entire uh, ticket price. So that was kind of nice. So we got a free ride, and it cost about $100 U.S. Uh, to go from, uh, which is, like I said, a four-hour train ride to go from London to Edinburgh. So we got a free ride out of it. So I guess it's not too horrible. Although, if I had my druthers, I would have uh, rather have stayed on the train comfortably than get my money back. But, you know, it is what it is. They say that, uh, you know, that kind of thing is not too unusual. We were on the train with many uh, people from Scotland and Ireland. I mean, in Scotland and uh, not Ireland, uh, England, as you might imagine. A lot of people take the train uh, there, and uh, they told us, yeah, this is not unusual. But these kind of delays can happen. So, what do you, you know, what are you going to do besides just say, we'll go. But, but another cool thing was while we were waiting in Newcastle to catch our train further on to Edinburgh, uh, several freight trains came through the station. <laughs> you got to look at those. That was really cool. To be so close to those huge engines like that, that was awesome. And I never would have seen those freight trains had our, had our train worked properly. All right, let's just use it to 100% again. Right, now we're going back to track four. That's track three. Back Did I do this right now? There's track one. There's track two. Yep, there's track three. Okay, track four. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. All right. All righty. So this video that I'm making right here is coming out tomorrow. So I was not feeling very well over the last few days. So I kept putting it off, putting it off, saying, but today this is it. I got to do it. But I'm feeling pretty good today. So... So, uh, in the end, waiting uh, did work. Okay, now after these go here to Thurmond, then the next ones are going to be going to Avis. And Avis is track six. Are all the uh, lumbers going to Avis? Looks like they are. Avis, Avis, Avis. And hitting hardware again is going to be a PM, which is a uh, Pier Marquette. Oh, so is that a Uh, yeah, that's, that might be another uh, flat car with lumber on it. There's a lot of lumber in there. Lots of lumber. And of course, while I was in London, I went on the tube a bunch of times. Like a bunch of times. The tube is so convenient down there. Or over there, I should say. But, uh, yeah. So that was really cool. Although, you know, the tube is nice, except you don't see nothing but tube. And that's kind of a downside. It's not really set up for scenery purposes, obviously. Uh, but when you're on the trains, above ground trains, it's really cool. Because you can just see all the English countryside, zipping through cities and all that kind of stuff. That's really cool. Uh, the tube was convenient, but not, not nearly as uh, interesting. Alrighty. One of these days, I got to take a trip by train here in the U.S. I've taken trips like to Chicago and stuff like that. They have one to go all the way across the country. Those can be a bit expensive. Don't know if I want to spend, you know, like four grand. Uh oh, forgot who I was. Four grand 
And uh, we're going to juice it again. Woo, look at that. Uh, on a train trip. I mean, I like trains, but I don't know if I like them four grand worth. Oh, is he going to be able to push this? It is moving. It's crawling. Rut roll. We may have bit off more than we can chew here. Let's see how he's doing on this end. Thomas, how are you, buddy? Need some water or something? Yeah. He's struggling. He's like, give me a minute. I'll get it. Give me a minute. Yeah, because unfortunately, this track is really long as well. And therefore, the whole thing. I'm thinking I should have shot Graham out there. And then you could have had four 44 tonners all pushing at the same time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so it's just going up there. I keep looking back at it. That was the wrong way. So we're just going up to Avis here, right? So this is Thurman. 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 Oh, this is all Thurman. Oh, pff, okay. I'm an idiot. Of course, it's all Thurman because you're looking at the middle of the of the cut. <laughs> looking at the end of the cut. Of course, it's all Thurman. You mo, gotta be looking at where you started. Not where he ended. Okay. There we go. Hey, there it goes. Avis ball up. That is the first one. Or is it? Yeah, 4319. I looked already. That's this boxcar right here. Look at that. We're up to a mile an hour. Woo! We are flying. Uh-huh. What did I say? Avis was track six? Yeah, Avis is track six. Here it comes. Get down a little bit closer. Here's 4285. 4285. There's 4319. Last one going. 43. Oh, the old switch list is helpful. There we go. And notch eight down to notch zero, just like that. Here we go. We'll apply the handbrake right there. Now we'll move forward. Good to be back at it again, let me tell you. Vacation was nice. It's good to be back at it again. Five, track six is the next one we're going to. Would I hit the brakes too early? And the answer is no. I did not. Now, do we juice it? Let's see what happens when we juice it. Right, we're just, just going to throw it in a notch eight. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! Zero to 60 in about. Three, maybe four and a half days. 
Okay. We got this. We got this. We're going here to track six. What does track six look like? Track six is not as long as track four, but it's still pretty long. Getting close to the we got to send it out portion there. Length. All right. So this is track six right here. Yeah, this is track six right here. Well, uh, okay, let's do this. And then we're going to say, uh, oh, no, Avis, Avis, Avis. They're all Avises, Avis. So the last, oh, no, it's not the last few. It's Okay, we're just going to keep it on this one so we know to jump back to it. This one's going to Hinton, which is track one, and then all of us are going to Avis again. Oh, no, no, looking at it wrong. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of them going to Hinton. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go back over here now. There we go. Just get down on it. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We're on the wrong one. Okay, here we are. Here, get down on it. Okay, track six. Okay. I was looking at that. Shouldn't have been. Don't look at that. Stop looking at that. Oh. Very frustrating at times. Here he comes. This will be a nice big low to drop here again, so <laughs> the speed will be up a little bit. Are we going to slow down before we hit? Is he going to get five mile an hour? And the answer is looks like no. Couple. Very good. Okay, now let's go back to the one we marked. There we are. We want to move this one past the frogs. This one here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going the wrong way. Here we go. Yeah, this one here is hit. Usually do it like this. But when all the cars look the same, the numbers are different, but the numbers are hard to see. Okay. Okay. 16, 8, 4, 1. I guess they're not that hard to see, but we're, we're going to do it this way anyway. Because I says so. You don't like it? Get your own YouTube channel. <laughs> I love yelling at you guys for no reason, though. I'm having arguments with people who don't exist. Or at least they're not making the arguments. All right. Let's slow it back down. He's got to kind of eyeball this one. Well, I guess the switch would be a place to get the password. Switch. There we go. And we will... Come on. Stop it right there. Apply. Uncouple. Forward. We're going to track one. Okay, so what do we got here now? We got all these are hitting. Hitting, 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 hitting. Hitting. Still hitting. We're hitting all the way up to here, which is hitting lumber and then the mitten U.S. coal. That's got to be a, that's got to be a hopper, right? Yeah, let's go look. Hitting, 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 and there you go. What did I tell? A cold? Did I tell you it was a cold? Why did I not believe me? All right. So all these are gonna go on track one. There's gonna be one big chunk of track one coming up here. Here she comes. And... Stop. I'm doing the stop early thing. Seems to be working out. Oh. Close of insanity. All right. Here we come back this way. Here we go. Wait for it to... 
Get back to zero. There it is. Okay. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought this was going to be rather light for it, but it's rather not. All right, well, we'll juice you again back to 100. We'll put you back in notch 8. That's not a problem. That's notch a problem. Get it because I used the word notch and I said notch a problem. Yeah, okay. All right, so Minden is where that coal car is going, the 55-ton coal car, and Minden is uh, track 7. And then above that is Newland. When was the last time I put anything for Newland? That's track 5. I got to blow my nose up. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to talk about phlegm or anything because that would be unprofessional. So, uh, yeah, I just took care of some uh, clear liquids. Let's call it that. Oh, all right. It stopped us. No, 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 no. no juice it back to notch eight again. There you go. We're now taking these guys back until we get to the 55-ton coal car that's headed for Minden U.S. Coal. 55 tenor number 62080. Let's go back, take another look at Thomas. Just because I feel like it. Still got the caboose he's got to get rid of. Yeah, he's laying on that, on that uh, throttle right now. He's like, I'm giving it all I've got. Can't give it to anymore. That was my uh, Scotty from uh, Star Trek uh, impersonation right there. See, it's never good when you do an impersonation if you then have to explain to what what impersonation you just did because if it's a good impersonation, everyone should know immediately what it is. If you have to explain it, then it's not it's not good. All righty. Today, for some reason, these do not look like bars of butter to me. Before they were. The lines seem to be more... You can see the lines in between the boards. And uh, last time I looked, bars of butter do not have lines. Nor are they made of boards. So maybe that's why it doesn't look like it. I've increased the distance or something. I can see a lot further than I used to. Maybe it's because I haven't played this in a long time. I don't know. It's been about two weeks. And I said Minden was track seven. This is all stuff that uh, our buddy uh, Graham gets to do. Of course. Let's take it back down. 50. Oh, no, geez. I thought the coal cars were right here. They sure are not. That's right. Now that we got momentum, 50 is going to get us to 10 mile an hour anyway. So It's all good. Look at that. We're doing seven. I can barely see the cars going by. It's going so fast. <laughs> Ooh, eight. That's nice. Remember to slow down early. But not too early. Take it down to 35% right now. 
Was that about a notch? Three? Two, maybe? There we go. Nice slowing down. And we'll stop it. Right there. Beautiful. And apply that. And forget who we are. There we go. Heading to track seven. Here we go. Come on, clear. There you go. We had it jumped right up to one. Holy moly. And now to two. Right, so there's two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, boy. Did that thing. You just pick some random car in the yard to put me on. There's six. Oh, that's got to be like that, right? Is that right? Six. There we go. And then we're going to go down this track. This will be track seven right here. That's track eight right there. Oh, we got to grab back onto this coal car. There we go. And Newland, where did I say Newland was going? I don't know. Newland's track five. Okay. That's a pretty scene right there. Look at that. All the cars waiting to go. I know uh, I've had people tell me that, you know, the, the, the yard master would be screaming, getting rid of all these cars. But then why are the tracks so long? Why would they make the tracks this long if they didn't need this this much room? All right, so we're just putting this one fifty-five ton coal car right here, number six two zero eight zero six two zero eight zero. Why am I concentrating so much on the numbers? I don't know. It's crazy. I'm crazy. Did that do it right there? Yeah, I'm right there is good. I'm happy with that. Let's apply. Decouple. Head on out. Track five. Uh, yep. Newland. Checking, rechecking track five. Check the double checks. Track five is right back here. Track five. Here we go. Then all the rest of them are going on track one, aren't they? Yes, they are. Answer my own question. Love doing that. When I used to teach high school, I would love calling on myself because I always had the right answer. It was always an interesting answer, too. So, I do miss it. I have to admit. I love retirement, but I do miss teaching. I loved interacting with the students. It was a lot of fun. But that is just a former chapter of my life. It's gone. 
I have no regrets. But uh, I do miss it. What are you going to do? All right. There go. Stop it right there. Beautiful. All the rest is going to Hinton. So we will apply this. There we go. Yep, so you don't need to this uh, switch list is now kind of useless to us. As we know everything's going. Then we just gotta run this one over to the uh to the caboose uh, refit. Caboose uh it's not really a refit, replenish. We gotta refill the refrigerator with some Paps Blue Ribbon. Non alcoholic. When I say nan alcoholic, I actually mean non alcoholic. It just slipped out. Alrighty. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Back it on up again now. Look at us right. Can we ride it now? Oh, we can't ride this one. Heck off. No, won't let us ride this one. Can't ride the flag car. It's against uh, company policy. All right. Move this way, and then we got to figure out where where this caboose is going to go. I mean, I know I know where it's going to go, but. And what track is it going to go once we get over there? Do I need to run around it? Of course, I can run around it over there. I feel like I'm having an argument with myself, and I'm losing. Okay. There we go. Stop this right here. Beautiful. It's a nice move right there. Thank you very much. Come on. Buy it. Decouple. Move forward. There we go. Now let's run over to the mallet house that we've re uh, reinvented as the caboose fixer upper placer. All right, look at it. We got plenty of room here on this track, plenty of room here on this track. So I could just run it in this way, right? Uh, which means we could. No, we can't. We'd have to get on here, do the turntable, uh, and then uh, push it straight through here, right? Or we could come down this track, back up, go back up again. It might be easier. You don't have to operate the turntable then? What track could we come down? How about this one right here? Right the coaling tower? Yeah, like that. Oh! <laughs> like this underneath the coaling towers? Did I just set the right one, right? I think so. Yeah, this one right here. Okay, so we have that one go this way. No overflow. No. Let's get this. That's correct. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Okay. That should work. We'll shove this caboose in there. Record its number. And that'll be that. Righty. Righty. 
We're gonna recheck the switches. Plus, I didn't make it. I didn't do the switches all the way back, so that's how we'll do it. All the way back. All the way back to the mallet shed is what I mean to say. All right. I think 60% is going to get us where we want to be. And we're going to come down this track here. Look out. And let's go this way. Are we going to run it around or go down the thing? Roundabout. The roundabout. Turntable. Let's go around it. Go to here. Go to here. Then here. This track looks weird. Uh, and then here. And then there. That's going to be a nice little trip, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think we can ride this one, can't we? Holy moly, look at us. Except we didn't get we didn't pick the the right end. We're on the wrong end. Get rid of this. How fast are we going? Twelve. Probably can juice a little bit more, huh? <clears throat> Let's see, where, where else can we go in here? Holy moly, we're hanging on the side, aren't we? Yes, we are. Hanging on the side here. There we go. That's where I wanted to be. Look at this shot, huh? Safety chains up, just in case. Can't run the bell. Look <laughs> at all those engines in the storage yard. Hey, fellas. Hang tight. Coffees are free. Donuts. Sorry, I can't do it. Just can't do it. I got to run a railroad. I cannot give you free donuts. All right. Oh, we're going this way now. Look at this for a screenshot, huh? I'm liking this for a screenshot. That's nice. Okay. Now we're going over this way. This is just some expert switch throwing right here. Hey, fellas, look at me. Hey, wave to me. I am the CEO. They know that, right? All right. Let's slow it back down now. Let's go into this mode. And let's go to this mode. Yeah, that's the mode you want. Here he comes. Nice. Right there. And stop. No, wrong answer. We're going forward. What's going on? Is he coming? Oh. <laughs> it switched around on me. It sure did. Switch it back the other way. Okay. Got a cough. Okay, coughing over. Birds of you. Uh, come over this way, this way. Okay, yep. Shove it onto that track, and Thomas can say, "Look at, look at me. Put me in, Coach. I'm ready to shunt." I'm gonna go to this track. Then we're gonna go to this track. And all these caboose over here, these caboose I uh, over here, are all ones that have been fixed on already, and they are ready to roll. Now, this is only giving us 8 mile an hour at 50%. It's 
I gotta do 55? That's different, isn't it? Did it change? Was there an update to trains? And they kind of changed the gearing a little bit? I don't know. Always nervous. No need to be. Okay. Of course, I, I, sh I should have known that it had switched as soon as uh, it thought the caboose was out of front. Well, we all know it wasn't. What's this guy doing here? He's checking his watch. Am I late or something? I'm sorry. Nobody waves to me. Oh boy. They want to tell me I'm oh boy. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. Let's just let's go with this view right here. Before we crash into anything. Alright. <laughs> Got the bell on, I don't hear it. It's off now. There it is. Beautiful. Uh, I kind of forgot who I was. Thomas, remember? All right, here we go. Okay, so now I gotta record the number of the caboose when I put it in there, and I also have to get where, where did we even pull this from? Was it Beckley? Nah, it was uh Beckley? <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting at is I'm gonna have to get another train going from wherever I got that one from. I can look at Avis Yard will tell me immediately. Alright. What it also is being told to me immediately is that we are in the butter zone, and this is gonna be it for the game. Uh today is over. Episode 66 has now been completed, and if I look on my calculator here, it looks like episode 67 would be coming up next. That'll come out in about eight days. Hope you guys had fun. Why don't you leave me a comment? Why don't you leave me a like? Why don't you subscribe to my beautiful, beautiful channel? I would really appreciate it. And if you don't like the fact that I just referred to my own channel as beautiful... Well, this just may not be the channel for you.